We are playing Catan Combo and we have chosen Pirate Islands, as you can see by the board, as well as the Catan event cards. So to do this combination, you will not only need the Catan base game, but you will need the Seafarers expansion, as well as the Traders and Barbarians expansion that the Catan event cards come with. So pretty basic, not a lot of changes. Victory points will go up to 10 with a captured pirate fortress, which are those settlements out there. Please watch our video on the pirate islands. It gives a more, more of an explanation on capturing the fortresses and this little pirate ship guy here. Um, watch that video because I'm not going to go into depth on that. A few things that we noticed that we had to adjust were some of the Catan event cards. So of course the pirate moves in an oval shape. What we ended up doing was this red die at the very bottom, the one that they use for cities and knights, that's how many spaces we ended up moving the pirate around the board. So that's how we worked that part of it. Um, and then there were, you will, you will need a die. Um, when you do attack the pirate fortresses out there, we ended up rolling the die to see, or dice. We only use one to make it go quicker because of the kid's age, but if you use two, you will need them for that because we found we were going through the cards a lot faster. Um, and if you already know what the card is flipped, you can kind of adjust your gameplay. So to make it more random, we did pull in the dice while we were attacking the fortresses out there. There are four cards that you're going to notice uh, have a little bit of conflict in this game. So the first two are robber attacks and robber flees. So there is no robber in pirate islands. So what we ended up doing was for robber attacks, whoever flipped this card over, whoever's turn it was, actually got to move the pirate ship wherever they wanted. So I thought there would be a little bit more attacking on each other, but what it turned out to be was red kept moving the pirate ship here so that it had the longest distance to go around before it got back to her. So that was an interesting strategy. Um, Orange, blue did not have a lot of warships, so orange kind of kept attacking blue, and blue would lose the resources. As well with rubber attacks, we came up with the rules that you must move the pirate. So, for example, it was here, and blue flipped a seven and wanted to, you know, kind of wanted just to place it there again to attack orange, but that's not a possibility. You do have to move the pirate so it cannot stay in the same place, just like the robber. And orange figured out very quickly as he had a lot of warships, he kept wanting to move the pirate onto himself so that he got resources from the bank. So we quickly put a rule on, you can't move the robber onto your, or the pirate, sorry, onto yourself. So a couple different strategies. Um, the other cards that you'll notice uh, have some conflict is tournament. So there are no knight cards, it's warships. So what we did was we just counted how many warships each player had. That person claimed this card. Conflict, same thing. It really, it was 
based on warships, not knight cards that were physically in front of you. Um, it was... We ended up counting the warships for conflict as well. So that's the introduction for the Catan Combo Catan event cards mixed with Pirate Islands. Let's see how it plays out. And there are two settlements to be placed. So this is the order in which you will place in a three player game. Blue rolled highest, so blue will place. And then orange will place a settlement. And then red will place a settlement. And then red. And then orange. And then blue, followed by two roads for blue. We always place our roads at the very end. As so. So, we are going to place and start our game. Let's see who wins.
orange one. He defeated the fortress, so his Catan chips are gone. Plus he has 10 victory points. Um, this is the Catan combination of Pirate Islands with Catan event cards. So keep playing and have fun. Thank you.